Uh, as the uh, leader indicated uh, today, uh, marks one year uh, since the Tea Party Republicans uh, have taken control of the House of Representatives. Uh, they came in uh, to power uh, out before the American people uh, their vision of how uh, we should move forward. The centerpiece of that vision was the Ryan budget. Uh, that budget, uh, as we uh, studied it, uh, did some significant things. Above all things, uh, it uh, created additional options for the wealthy and eliminated uh, opportunities uh, for the middle class. We saw uh, in that budget uh, an attempt to do away uh, with the Medicare guarantee and replace it with a plan that would cost seniors over $6,000 annually in additional cost. We saw in their plan an attempt, that budget, an attempt to make college education uh, less attainable uh, for low- and middle-income Americans. We saw uh, in that budget uh, a, a, an assault on seniors uh, to make the nursing home care uh, much more expensive and, in many instances, uh, impossible uh, to attain. We are now celebrating a new calendar year. Uh, it is now time uh, for our Republican friends to join us uh, and initiate for the American people a new beginning. Recent studies have indicated, and we've seen all these studies, that there is a tremendous uh, growing uh, wealth gap uh, in our country. Uh, the wealthy are getting wealthier, uh, and the middle income uh, are seeing uh, their um, opportunities shrink. shrink. That's why, if you look at this budget, uh, you will see all kinds of additional options for the wealthy or that 1 or 2 percent uh, and the elimination of opportunities uh, for uh, middle and low income Americans. Uh, I would hope uh, that our Republican friends uh, will hurry uh, back to Washington and help us create opportunities, help us reignite the American dream, help us get the American people back to work.